Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Brian Argenti. We have a few showers that are now pushing through the area from west to east, and some of them are associated with a couple rumbles of thunder, but these are going to be quick moving. There will be a quick dash and go. It'll be just a quick little rinse as we go through the next couple of hours. But then as soon as we deal with that cold front or as soon as that cold front passes through, these temperatures are going to plunge overnight. We were we were up into the 70s earlier or in the mid 70s earlier. Now we're going to dip down into the 50s due to this cold front that's passing through. And it's going to be brisk, breezy and chilly as we enter this upcoming week. Taking a live look over Lebanon right behind me, we are mostly cloudy, 58 degrees, 54 degree dew point. We have a calm uh, six, six mile an hour wind from the north northwest, so uh, it's, it's, it's a nice night so far. Mostly cloudy, well, but there is an isolated thunder shower as well for some spots. Still breezy, 5 to 10 miles an hour for most spots, 54 to 58 degrees for our temperatures. As we go into tomorrow morning, 56 to 60 degrees, partly sunny. We could see an isolated shower as well. It'll be breezy and cooler, 56 to 60, 10 to 15 mile an hour westerly breeze as well. Now, as we go into tomorrow afternoon, Afternoon. It'll be 58 to 62 degrees. We'll have some clouds and sun, isolated showers. It'll be breezy again as well. I mean, we'll have a northwest breeze between 10 to 20 miles per hour as we go into tomorrow. We are 70s for the majority of us in terms of our temperatures. A couple of us are into the 60s as well, and then lower 60s as well, especially up towards Lewistown. Here, here come the effects of that cold front. We're, we're starting to dip down into the lower 60s already, and our dew points now in, into the mid 50s. A couple of us into the upper 50s as well, so overall it's a comfy night out there. Pollen and mold levels for tomorrow are going to be moderate. Air quality is good. We'll have a low UV index of 55 or with a 55 minute burn time. So if you're headed to the Dillsburg Farmers Fair, it'll be running through Saturday. It'll be partly cloudy for Monday evening, brisk and cool for Tuesday evening, and breezy and chilly once we get into Wednesday evening. But all across the board, 50s in terms of our temperatures, and they're just going to be dropping as we get into the middle of this week. We're seeing some showers push through the region on our live local 8 radar. You can see a couple splotches of red starting to push through the valley from west to east now. But again, these are going to be quick moving through. It'll give us a quick little rinse, and that's about it as we go through the rest of the night tonight. And again, that's due to a cold front that's going to quick sweep by. And by the time we wake up for tomorrow morning, we'll still, still see some lingering clouds, also a spotty shower, a potential of an isolated shower during the day. Once we go into Monday evening, we'll see a break in the clouds as well. And then once we go into Tuesday morning, once we start the day on Tuesday, it'll be some sun and clouds as well. Still going to be another chance of an isolated shower. We still have a boundary that's nearby. And so with that boundary, that's going to be setting us up for another couple isolated showers potentially. But in terms of our upper level patterns, the reason why we're so cool is because we have a cooler air mass up, up, up above us. And so with this cooler air mass, it's really going to be making us feel like the fall. But if you do like warmer weather, we are seeing some more warmer weather on tap for us as we go into the end of this week and even into the weekend. We do warm up into the 60s. As you can see, that warmer air mass does stay over top of us for this weekend. We are taking a look at the tropics right now. We have a chance of a tropical system making uh, or producing in like the next seven days. It's about a 40% chance though, so we're still keeping an eye on it as we go through this week. And speaking of this week, our 10 day forecast, we are into the 50s, mid 50s for Tuesday, lower 50s for Wednesday. It'll be mild by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, and we'll have a seasonable start to the weekend this upcoming weekend.